soundtrack. <laughs> What's going on guys? A couple things before we get to today's video. Uh, tonight is 2025 Polaris release, so I will be doing an entire video this evening, uh, hopefully getting it posted tonight on uh, some of my thoughts. On some of my thoughts, and uh, Bruce is down there, and Will from Velocity Sled Performance is actually down there. So I'm gonna try and get some, uh, some video and uh, show you guys some behind the scenes of what's going on at the show down there. Um, aside from that, this upcoming weekend is Snowfest in Old Forge. I will be there uh, all day Saturday with this uh, prize possession behind me. Uh, Adirondack Cross Country Race Series got a booth, um, so I will be there with this sled in there. That sled is going to be there uh, all day Friday, all day Saturday. I'm only going to be there all day Saturday. Um, so if you guys have nothing else to do considering there's no snow, come stop by, hang out. I will have some merch with me. Um, but Nonetheless, come say hi, check everything out, and uh, back. To What's going on, guys, and welcome back. We are obviously out here on snow, what's left of it at least, and uh, we have the one and only Bruce, as always. Um, obviously, we are kind of the suspension-oriented YouTube page, and we've done so much over the last couple years of getting these sites to work as good as they possibly can uh, with the help of Bruce's knowledge and valving and springs and so on and so forth, and uh, we've made leaps and, and strides, especially on the short track stuff. Uh, this year, I obviously got an assault, which I'm sitting on now, and uh, it's been a learning curve of trying to get these things to work as we think that they need to. Um, unfortunately, we haven't had a ton of snow this year to, to get a lot of testing done. So we've been kind of limited on what we can do and can't do. So we did it, try to uh, one set up, what, a couple weeks ago? Yeah, when we, from stock original. Yeah, from stock original, which I wrote for a while trying to, you know, learn it and understand how it works and- Yeah, and made, made some normal adjustments. Yeah, that, you know, no one would have to kind of purchase anything or, you know, pay for anything to get it done. So now we're kind of throwing, as I would call it, the kitchen sink at it to, to get it to really work the way that we want it to. And, and we came up with one setup and we tried it and <laughs> yeah, so I definitely valved it stiffer. Well, should I say, if you watched the videos before, you know that the assault is set up for valving wise, it's set up for more off trail where it's rigid in the small stuff and then it blows through when you're hitting, you know, hard trail stuff. As soon as you come off something, it just goes right through it. And when we take them apart and we did this on the video, it, it's valved exactly the way it feels, no question. Mm -hmm. So when we made the change, I stiffened things up front and rear of the rear suspension slowed the rebound down in the rear because these are springboards when they go when they go through the travel and then i but i left the front track spring front track spring stock because it was like okay we're going stiffer let's see what this spring will do for us and it didn't do anything <laughs> no. so when you came up here and rode you you know you were blowing through the front track yeah. even turning a clicker in until you got to the point where it was just too rigid anyway so mm. you're not going to do that and then the rebound was still quick yeah, so, when we talk about rebound, guys, it's like when it when you go through the travel and it bounces back and it almost wants to like hit you in the butt or you feel like it kicks up all the way up. Yeah. That's what you say when the rebound's too fast. Yep. Um, and these things are, one, known for it, and two, I mean, even after valving them, they were still, still. way too fast. We didn't go far enough mm -hmm. to really find that happy medium or happy spot, period. So then we went back to the drawing board, and that's where we are today. So, so we, I took them back apart. I valved both stiffer again again trying to keep that low speed soft which i'm going to jump on it this time when we leave here and try that mm -hmm. to feel the difference yeah when too. he says valve stiffer and a lot of guys you're probably going to be watching be like well salts are stiff from the beginning you know and i do agree in the, in the little chatter stuff they are very rigid oh, but again horrible going back to what we just talked about you know that's how they come valve factory so when we say stiffer we mean well he gets rid of that very very rigid feeling in that first few inches and then valves that stiff on the bottom half of it. Right, so that we're not blowing through it as soon as you do hit something hard, which it was better on that first round. It just yeah, it was definitely enough. better, just, yeah, it wasn't and, and it was definitely softer through the chatter, which we've had plenty of chatter yeah, this which... year with the low snow. <clears throat> so, so I valved them stiffer, high speed, still left that low speed for that nice soft movement. Slowed the rebound down a ton yeah, in the back because lot, I felt lot. how bad it was. Mm -hmm. 
And then I did put a cross country front track spring in it now to keep it from anti bottoming in that when you enter that bump. Yeah. So, yeah, so today, I mean, we have, uh, it was, it's been warm and now it's cold. So this trail that we're on right now is very rigid. I mean, the bumps that are there are pretty much solid ice at this point. Yeah. There's no give to it at all. It's just hard, hard moguls. And uh, as of right now, I mean, this thing is night and day difference from what we had it at. And I mean, I can't say anything really bad about it right now. Um, we're gonna do some more mileage here. He hasn't got on it yet, but it is like literally night and day. I wish I had this in the beginning of the year, but again, this is why we do what we do. So when you guys come to myself or Bruce and say, hey, this is what I want. Well, now we have a setup for that. So. Uh, we're going to try and fine tune this a little bit and we're going to get some more miles on it in this again, lower snow, but it's really hard snow right now. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. High speed chatter, some bigger stuff when you're jumping off of something mm -hmm. at a peak of a hill. Um, you know, cause again, when, we, when we work on this stuff, I'm not trying to reinvent the wheel. Um, you know, I don't try to like, as soon as the snowmobile comes in, go, oh, this thing, I can make it way better. We, we want to get on it. We want to feel it how it is. We make the adjustments to what we can with what we have and then go, okay, what do we need to do? Because again, when I get the feedback from you guys, I, we had felt the same thing that you had been feeling. Right. So, yeah. So, uh, it was a big win getting on an assault this year. So we did have an entire season to mess yeah. with them and, and see yeah. what they like, what they even don't like. Even though it like, wasn't a great season. Even though it wasn't a great season. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna go and put a couple more miles on it and try and get some footage. I already got some uh, GoPro footage for you guys if it didn't delete itself by accident, which has been happening a lot lately. Um, if not, we'll get some phone clips of us kind of bombing through it. But let me know uh, final thoughts at the end of it.
So we got some good miles on. We ended up doing about 70 or so miles. We got a lot of really good testing and this sled is really, really, really good now. I mean, this is kind of what I wanted it to feel like all year, but as you guys know, we do it kind of in increments and we see what changes change what. So um, I'm very happy with where he has valving right now. I mean, it was much more settled as in, you know, rebound was way slower, so it wasn't popping and bouncing all over the place. Uh, the front track shock was not blowing through. So I think we have a very, very, very good baseline for this assault rear end. Uh, again, I don't know what I'll be on next year. I may be on an assault again, I may not. It really depends on what comes out tonight. But at least for you guys that are assault guys, we really have a good baseline for that. And that's why I, again, that's why I was on an assault this year. So on top of this valving, we also have the high gear linkage. Ryder wants to be in it too. The high gear linkage that we ended up putting in uh, later that day and did some testing. So I'm gonna do a whole nother video on that. That is a whole nother step in the, the good in a good direction. Um, but again, I'm gonna split these videos up and I'm gonna do a whole nother video on that. But that's it, guys, really. Um, we have these assaults working really, really well. They are, it, it was just light years from what we tried the first time to what we have in it right now. It was just unbelievable. Unfortunately, the season seems like it's over as of right now, which really, uh, for lack of better term, sucks because I was really enjoying it that day and I would like to put some more miles on it. But Mother Nature is not cooperating this year. But that is, uh, that's it, guys. If you are interested in getting valving done, obviously you could go, you know, right to Bruce, you could ask me questions, put it down below, get a hold of me on Facebook, Instagram, <coughs> whatever works for you guys. But nonetheless, uh, we figured these things out, I think. So uh, that is going to do it for this video. Make sure to like, make sure to subscribe, and go check us out at Snowfest this weekend. Uh, I hope to see a lot of you guys there. See ya. Sounds dry.